Hello everyone, my name is Tim and today we're going to take a look at how to recover the start button. It all works, I can search and all without caps, please. And yeah, as you can see, I have a custom theme installed. So we're going to take a look at that. To start off, I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm going to search, go to Google, search for Ultra UX Theme pat Patcher and here sysol.net click that, the first link uh, by the way all the links will be in the description um, so you just scroll down, click download save file check here yes, I want to launch Next, I accept the terms, I agree, and just, yeah, patched, 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 done. So that's what you're going to do. Next, you want to go to deviantr.com, um, and yeah, by the way, after the installation, you need to restart your computer, but that's the only time in this process that you need to do that. Oh, another software we need to get first. Start is back. That's this start menu. Start is back. Just Google it and the first link. Download. Download. Done. Um. So once you're in DeviantArt, you want to go to customization. After that, skins and themes. Scroll down to Windows 8 Utilities, Visual Styles 8. So let's see if I can find anyone. Metro plus Luna. Nah, I don't like that one. Acid Beta. This is pretty nice actually. Download. Yeah, I'll open the file. Right now I'm running this Elune. I run Elune back in my Windows 7 system and it, it's it's a real nice theme. I gotta admit that. Um, so in some themes you might get an orb with which I can't preview. Anyway, and you might get a folder that's called theme or like here put this stuff inside me inside me in your theme folder and you might wonder where is my theme folder well just open up your computer go to C Windows Resources Themes now what you want to do is just take these files drag and drop them in here yeah continue and yeah so now let's see what was the name of that asset. Now what you do is right click, uh, customize, and then here in install the themes you should have the theme. Just click it and you'll have it. Well it wasn't that nice but well hello. Here's space blueberries. This one's pretty nice actually looks really good there's small space there is bottom this is if you had a thick one this looked really good soft aid also pretty nice but I don't think I'm gonna stay with Elium there it is So, what you then want to do is you might see that this isn't looking like mine is. You want to go back and instead of Windows 8 Utilities, you want to go into Windows 7 Utilities. Go to Start Orbs. Let's just. I'm running the Metro. Well, let's download. I like the dots. They're pretty nice actually. So I'm just gonna click download. 
open. Here we have dots. I'm gonna upload. No, not upload. I'm gonna extract to my. I have a um, folder on my desktop with startups. So I'm just gonna extract that folder. You can put them wherever you want. Then what you do is you right click preferences appearance I believe that will be translated to add and find where they where you located them and just select them then you can click apply and as you see I have three dots now and I believe this one is the default. I don't like it so much. The dots are pretty nice actually, I gotta admit that. But that's basically how you how you apply a custom theme and a custom thing. Start button and get it back. So thanks for watching and I'll see you maybe next time. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Bye.